What's going on, beautiful people? It's Nate Bauer from Nate Bauer Fitness. Before we get into this workout, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get access to all of my workouts and educational videos. Today's workout, we're gonna be doing a low impact steady state workout, boxing and conditioning, using the T50 treadmill from Matrix Fitness, and of course, shadow boxing in whatever space you have. If you don't have a treadmill yet, use an exercise bike or skipping for your conditioning piece. We're gonna be doing eight rounds, three minutes per section or three minutes per round. You'll see everything you're supposed to do on screen. There'll be a quick rest in between sets. And of course, guys, let's get it done. Let's get hooked and get ripped for this awesome lower impact steady state boxing workout here on the Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube channel. Let's get to work. All right, let's have some fun, you guys. Jump on that treadmill, get ready for your warm up. You can use a bike for this as well. Let's get to work. In three, two, one, you're gonna go to a 5% incline amp up the treadmill. Let's walk at 3% to start. Then work your way up to 4.5 miles an hour and let's get in a light jog. Now the goal of this workout, if you feel like you're going too fast on the treadmill or too slow, of course you can slow it down or speed it up. Treadmill is your conditioning component to this to amp up your heart rate to give you a constant energy flow within this workout. Relax your arms on the treadmill. Breathe in a nice pattern as you're crushing it the same way you would with your boxing combinations. And your warm up for this component is three minutes. Remember, your rounds are three minutes in today's workout. Again, you're working at about 4.5% speed, anywhere 2 or 3% incline. I'm using shadow boxing gloves for a little, a little added tension, of course. In your warm up, you wanna relax, breathe. Think about today's workout. It's constant steady state, so limited rest, and we work continuously for all eight rounds with a mix of conditioning and boxing, treadmill and boxing. And again, here, if you wanna pick it up and go to five or 5.5 miles an hour in your treadmill or keep the same speed and go up 1% in your incline. Think about the blood flowing through your body, increasing the temperature a little bit. With warm up, you wanna think about 50 to 60% effort. So if you feel like you're not getting there, you can amp it up a little bit, a little faster. Or if you feel yourself at 70 to 80%, take it down a little bit. We have a lot of work to do today. Thirty seconds. In this matrix treadmill, the incline is on my left hand side, the speed is on the right hand side. So make sure you're very familiar with your speed on the treadmill and the incline. And in ten seconds, we're gonna get off the treadmill nice and easy and start throwing little boxing combinations to review your boxing combo numbers. All right, we're gonna work the jab first. Pause the treadmill, let's go. Number one is the jab. The jab. Let's do three reps of the jab. Now add the cross. Rear hand is the cross. And number two, cross. Hands up, lead hook. Number three, bring it across the body just to about your right side. Number four, rear hook. Get used to these numbers, hands up. Number five, lead uppercut. Bring your elbow to the inside of your torso, about six inches when you throw it. Lead uppercut moves into rear uppercut. Number six, rear uppercut. Nice vertical forearm to make contact. Seven is the upshoot, so it's a longer uppercut. So a little more of a a little less vertical of a forearm on a 45 degree angle. And number eight is the overhand right. 
the one that ends the fight. Coming down around and over the top. Let's put them together. Jab cross is the one, two. Eyes on the target. Bring the left shoulder back to rip the right hand through. There you go. Now add on the lead hook. One, two, three. Jab, cross, lead hook. One, two, three. Jab, cross, rear side, lead hook, lead side. Add the rear hook. One, two, three, four. Excellent work. You can add some head movements in there. Let's add in the lead uppercut. One, two, three, four. Lead uppercut. Number five. Jab, cross, lead hook, rear hook, lead uppercut. Keep your chin down, tucked in nicely. You're holding the tennis ball underneath your chin to your chest. Add the rear uppercut. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Rear uppercut, six. Beautiful work, looking good. Two, three, four, five. Great control, six. Slip left, slip right, cover. Slip, slip, cover. That's it, now move a little bit. There you go. Slip, slip, cover. When you're slipping, you're just changing the axis. You can slip and step at the same time. Now duck right, duck left. Slip, slip, cover. Duck, duck, slip, slip, cover. Work that. Use your legs and torso to slip. And of course, let's get ready for your first high-powered round. Let's get to the treadmill. You're going to increase your incline to 5% and we're going to start at 4.5 miles an hour. If you're on your bike, just figure out a place that makes that feel similar to that speed and that resistance. Let's go. 4.5 miles an hour. We're jogging at a light pace. Now while you're jogging, again, relax your shoulders. Stay in one space in the treadmill, so try not to approach to the, the front of it too much. Try and stay in between the handles. Make sure you know where your speed and your incline are. You have a nice clear space behind you, and you're confident to jump off to the side if you have to. We're going to build up this round in your treadmill piece or your bike piece. If you're skipping, you can just pick up the speed when we say go. Nice steady state workout. 4.5 miles an hour. Over one minute gone. Again, relax your shoulders, breathe in a rhythm. Listen to the music. Prepare yourself for every ounce of this workout. My heart rate is 145. Nice and easy, guys. Keep it up. As we go through this workout, don't worry, we always amp it up. So if you feel like you're, you know, you're legging behind a little bit and you want to pick it up, you can do that. Just make sure you're safe. You're not overdoing it because we are putting in work today. But if you want to go up 0.2 or 0.3, of course you can do that. If you hold your breath when you're running fast, you're going to stiffen up. So again, breathe in a rhythm is very important, same as your boxing. So think. For the running component and the punch component, you're relaxed. We're working at a steady, consistent pace. Less than 30. We're working with 20 seconds left in round number one.
So you're starting to get slightly uncomfortable at the end of round number one with your heart rate increasing. Now slowly bring it down. Get that treadmill on pause. Let's go to the floor, get ready for round number two, which is a jab rear uppercut, a one, six. Okay, work this at the same 60% effort. Let's go. One, six. I want you to extend that jab all the way out and extend that uppercut to your own forehead in terms of height. Change the combos as we go. Jab, rear upper, move. Jab, rear upper cut, move. Now, if you want to be more experienced or if you want a more experienced combo, it would be a double jab, rear upper cut, one, one, six. If you want to do it right away. We're going to change it up in five seconds. Heart rate pushing towards 150. Duck right, duck left. Duck right, duck left. A little recovery. That's right, we just want a little recovery here. But again, if you want to throw combinations off this duck, pop, 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 duck, pop, pop, pop. You can throw combos off of that. Use your legs to duck right or duck left. Use your experience to throw combos off those ducks. Let's go one, six, three, duck left. One minute, one, six, three, duck left. One minute. One, six, three, duck left. So think of it, you're kind of working in a hit formula. One minute on, 30 seconds active recovery at your own pace. 30 seconds. Jab, rear uppercut, lead hook. Get out the way. After you come off the duck left, you can throw a one, two, one, two. So it could be a one, six, three, duck left. One, two, one, two, move. Hands come back up into position, full range of motion on all of your punches. Look at your target. Keep your head strong. Good work, good work. In three seconds, we're gonna go to another active recovery, so a little less. There you go, duck right, duck left. And again, add a little combo in here if you want, add a punch or two, or simply do what I do. Awesome job, guys. Let's get ready for the treadmill. Round number three. We're gonna go up 10% incline and I want your speed at three or 3.5 miles an hour at a fast walk. Ready? Let's bring it up. 10% incline. There you go. 3% speed or even 3.5. Let's walk it out. Now here you can do a light jog if you want 3.54. So whatever treadmill you're testing, just make sure that when you're running on it, it feels really soft and nice and gives you kind of real-time feedback. Now again, here, if you want to pick it up a little bit as we go through your first minute, go another 0.2 or 0.3 faster or 
increase the incline 1%. Or you can do both. Get trust in your treadmill, look up and past it. So you're not always looking at the screen. Where are you at on the treadmill? Are you cl really close to the screen or are you right in the middle? It's nice to be in the middle. Over halfway down around number three. Again, if you want more, increase the incline by 1% or the speed by 0.5 or 1. Let's go 11% incline. There you go, finish a little higher up. So we're climbing a little higher mountain to finish strong in our last minute and a fast walk. Again, it's low impact. So it's nice to let your body just walk at a fast pace uphill with no regrets. Just let your body flow through this walking pace up a hill. Getting at 11% incline, 3.5 or four miles an hour. 15 seconds, you can be at a little light jog if you want. In 10 seconds, you're gonna push pause in your treadmill. Four, three, two, let's bring it directly to the floor for round number four. And let's hit up these boxing combinations. Good job. Shake out the arms, get ready to go to work. Bounce. Let's go. Round number four, it's a cross lead uppercut, block right. So it's a two five, block right. I want you two five hard this time, okay? Cross, lead uppercut, block. Cross, lead uppercut, block. Okay? Put it to work, let's go. One minute first, two five, block. Two five, block. Cross, lead uppercut, block, move. Again, lead the elbows coming inside your torso. When you're blocking, make sure you can still see a target in front of you, but you can see everything coming at you. 30 seconds. Two, five, block. Now, if you want, you can throw a one, two off of that. Two, five, block, one, two. Two, five, block right, jab, cross. 10 seconds or simply work with that 2-5 block right. In five seconds, we're gonna go to a little active recovery. So you can do the active recovery or keep working this combo. So move and cover. Once again, work defense, but don't stand still. You're covering, you're moving. Slips, covers. Again, you can throw light punches off of this. It can be a move cover, a couple punches, move cover, a couple shots. Let's get back to it. One minute, a little faster. Two, five, six, block right. Cross, lead uppercut, rear uppercut, block. Let's go. Two, five, six, block. Two, five, six, block. That pace. Two, five, six, block. Cross, upper, upper, block right. Cross, upper, upper, block right. Dig in with those uppercuts. Use your body to extend those forearms vertically to the ceiling. Rotate your torso up. Come on. Twenty seconds. A 
Again, even here, my heart rate 157. I'm putting effort into those punches. Are you trying to punch hard? It doesn't have to be fast. Just punch hard with every muscle in your body. But yet, you're still relaxed. Try and figure that one out. Four, three, two, one. Move, cover. Let's go. Throw some punches here and there. Slips, pivots, covers, movement. That's it. Constant work, you guys. Low impact, steady state. Three, two, one. Great work. Let's go back to your treadmill right away. What you're gonna do on the treadmill is work at a 5% incline and start at 5.5 miles an hour right now. Five percent incline, 5.5, let's go. Now here's where you start to pick it up a little bit. With this 5.5 miles an hour, as soon as you feel like you can do it, go up 0.2 or 0.3. I want to leave it to you. We're going to go up again, 0.2, 0.3 in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go up again. 0.2 or 0.3, let's go. It's on you. Twenty-two minutes gone in this session, working the twenty-two minute mark. Keep pushing, keep pushing. I want your heart rate to feel like it's in the 160s. So in terms of effort, if you're going from one to 20, I want you to think about your effort being at 16 out of 20. If it's not there, give me 0 0.2, 0 0.3 more. You see, I'm working about 90% effort. We haven't taken much rest, one minute. Give me your final push, 0.2 or 0.3. A little higher, get to that 90% effort mark. Yeah, come on, turn it over. A little more, 0.2 or 0.3. Thirty seconds. Finish strong now. Turn those legs over. Relax your hands. Breathe in a rhythm. You're at a 17 out of 20 for effort. Your heart rate's in the 170s. You're coming up to the crest of a long hill. You're going to cross the top of that crest. And throw your punches in three. Two, one, very good. Treadmill is on pause. Let's bring it to the floor. Yes, come on, you got this. Bring it to the floor. Move around on your toes, champions. It's time to go to war again. Your first combination coming up is a one, two, one, two, slip right. And I want you to work pretty fast on this. One minute. One, two, one, two, slip. One, two, one, two, slip. Let's go. One, two, one, two, slip. Nice and clean with that full extension on that jab, cross, jab, cross. Get out the way. One, two, one, two, move. Move again. One, two, one, two, slip. Change positions. 
You're in the fighter zone right now. Now you're throwing those shadow boxing combinations or you're working the heavy bag. Yeah, there you go. Silky. See, the heart rate drops just a little and then comes back at it again. Move around, move around. Keep increasing the heart rate. Move around, let's go. One, two, one, two, five. Slip left, so we're really working on uppercut today. Let's go. One, two, one, two, five. Slip left. One, two, one, two, five, slip. One, two, one, two, five, slip. Jab, cross, jab, cross, five, slip. Put in work, 40 seconds. Full range. Think about your chin staying at one level, low. That's it, constant work, 20 seconds. Working at a strong pace here. We'll get your heart rate to elevate faster on the treadmill or the bike. One, two, one, two, slip. After the five, one, two, one, two, upper, slip. There we go, back in that 90%. Move around and defend, move around and defend. So you see their heart rate getting up into the 160s. It'll drop for just a second. Then we'll get back on the treadmill and we'll amp it up again. Defend as you move, guys. Defend as you move. Ten seconds. Again, it drops a little bit on your active recovery. And then we're going to amp it up again the treadmill in three, two, one. Right to the treadmill or bike. Let's go right away. Let's get ready to work. We're going to work lateral slides on the treadmill. If you're not confident doing that, please just continuously run forward. You're at a 10% incline and your speed is or 1 or 1 1.5 miles an hour. That's plenty. Hold on and go. If you're confident you can be at the 2.5 mark if you're not quite so confident be at 1.5 i want four lateral slides to the right move to the middle four lateral slides to the left move to the middle then change direction so make sure you change go to the middle before you switch directions reset to the middle change sides One, two, three, four. Back to the middle. Push away from your left. One, two, three, four. Back to the middle. Great job. Keep it up. Two minutes. Walk it out, keep walking, keep moving. Again, if you want more and you just wanna go straight, amp it up a little bit more so you can give me some speed here. Five or six miles an hour, just running straight. Please do not run sideways at that speed.
115 to go. Keep it up, squad. Heart rate 161. You know the deal. If you want to pick up the energy and take that heart rate to the next level, push up the speed and get after it. One minute to go in round number seven. Heart rate 163. Throw those combos on the treadmill if you're feeling confident. <laughs> Have fun with it, guys. Take it all in. You're almost there for the win. 164 with 45 seconds to go. You can be lightly jogging. You can be still working those lateral shuffles. Right to left, left to right. Just always resetting in the middle. 30 seconds to go. Let's crank it up. Finish strong right here. Come on. We're working at six miles an hour. Incline stays the same. Easy jog. Get up that hill. Up the hill, easy jog. Three, two, one, and done. Very good. Let's take it to the floor. Shake your arms out, get ready to throw those combinations. Your first combo, two, three, two, duck right. First combo, two, three, two, duck or slip right. Two, three, two, duck right, duck left. Two, three, two, duck right, duck left. Or two, three, two, slip right, slip left. You can decide, ready? One minute, go. Two, three, two, duck, duck. Two, three, two. Duck, duck, two, three, two, duck, duck, let's go. Again, fully extend that rear cross. Bring that hook across nicely. Perfect control with all of your punches. Use your legs to bring your body down when you're ducking. Pivot right after you throw that second duck in play. Two, three, two, duck, duck, pivot, move. Pivot around that space so you can still move in plenty of directions. So make sure you're incorporating this pivot into your routines. Remember, use your legs to get under with those ducks, not just your torso. Five, four, three, two, one. Active recovery. Just parry, parry, slip, slip. So block the shot, block the shot, slip, slip, parry, parry. Slip, slip, block a straight, block a straight, slip a straight, slip a straight. Keep your hands up. You're catching my punches with the inside of your hand, straight in the middle of your palm. There you go. And then slip the other two. Five seconds, get ready. Two, one, let's go. Two, three, two. Duck right, duck left, add a three. Two, three, two, three. Duck right, duck left. Give me more speed. Two, three, two, three. Duck, duck, go on. Two, three, two, three. Duck, duck, faster than me. Two, three, two, three. Duck, duck. Stay at it. Don't forget, use your legs. You're working at a steady pace today, so I want you to pick it up. Nice steady hands, nice steady footwork. Strong, youthful legs to come under those combinations on your ducks after that lead hook. Nice work, Warriors. Absolutely loving it. Three, two, one. Excellent. Let's go. Perry, Perry. Slip, slip. 
Again, if you want to finish strong here, freestyle. Let your hands go as fast as you can. Or parry, parry, slip, slip. Defense, footwork, movement. Ten seconds. Or you're freestyling, finishing strong. Four, three, two, one. Time. Amazing work. And there you go, squat. A phenomenal steady state boxing and conditioning workout using the T50 treadmill from Matrix Fitness. Honestly, this treadmill feels really good. The console is easy to use, quick activation for sprints and incline. And of course, when you push pause, it allows you to go back and reactivate your previous setting very quickly. But I'll get more into this as we go through these workouts here on the channel. Use this workout consistently. Remember, use a treadmill, a bike, or skipping for your conditioning piece. Boxing, you can add in your own combinations if you want. A great program, a great protocol, and you can see we burn some calories. I'll see you warriors for the next one. Enjoy the success of today's workout.